During a face-off between the fighters, tensions began to escalate as the event progressed. Toward the end, the atmosphere became particularly heated, prompting the host to take a step back from the confrontation. This action led to accusations that the host was trying to avoid the intensity of the moment, though it wasn't intentional. One of the fighters accused the other of being disrespectful during the face-off, further fueling the tension. However, upon reflection, it seems that it was more of a misunderstanding, as the accused fighter had said, let's go now, which momentarily confused the other. This brief misunderstanding led to a moment of tension, but it ultimately boiled down to the fighters preparing themselves mentally for the upcoming bout. Both fighters recognize that moments like this are common in the world of boxing, where emotions run high as they gear up for the fight of their careers. During the press conference, one of the fighters delivered a message that resonated deeply with many in attendance. He emphasized that in boxing, or any competitive sport, it is critical not to let an opponent gain even the slightest advantage. His words, never let anyone take an inch, because they'll end up taking a mile, captured the mindset that boxers often carry into the ring. In a sport where mental toughness is just as important as physical ability, the ability to maintain control is paramount. He was referring to the idea that giving away even the smallest advantage can lead to losing control of the match. The fighter's determination to prevent his opponent from taking any advantage, both in the ring and mentally, was a central theme of his preparation. This approach, grounded in a refusal to concede ground, reflected the intensity of both fighters as they prepared for what was sure to be a fiercely competitive match. The press conference featuring Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois set the stage for what many believed would be one of the most exciting and highly anticipated heavyweight fights of the year. Both boxers displayed immense confidence, and their verbal exchanges only heightened the anticipation among fans and pundits alike. With the fight approaching, experts began to weigh in on what could happen in the ring. One of the more notable predictions came from heavyweight boxer Zhang Jilei, who boldly threw his support behind Du Bois. Zhang, known for his own impressive knockout power and deep understanding of the heavyweight division, believed that Du Bois had what it took to upset the seasoned Joshua. He praised Du Bois' recent performances, particularly his knockout victory over Philip Rogovi, which seemed to have bolstered Du Bois' confidence and fighting spirit. Zhang's support added another layer of intrigue to the match as his prediction suggested that Du Bois might have a chance to surprise the boxing world and defeat Joshua, despite being seen as the underdog by many. Zhang's belief in Du Bois was rooted in the fighter's recent surge in performance. According to Zhang, if Du Bois had a full and proper training camp, he could pose a serious threat to Joshua. Zhang pointed out that Du Bois had been on a winning streak and seemed more determined than ever. He recognized that Du Bois' knockout victory over Hagovi had not only boosted his confidence but had also demonstrated his ability to perform under pressure. Zhang advised Joshua to be cautious, warning that Du Bois' newfound confidence and momentum might make him a much more formidable opponent than some might expect. Deng's analysis suggested that Joshua would need to approach this fight with extra care and preparation, as Du Bois' rise in the heavyweight division had made him a legitimate threat. Renowned boxing trainer and analyst Jamie Moore also shared his insights on the upcoming fight, and like many others, he believed that the timing of the bout could play a significant role in determining its outcome. Moore suggested that Joshua had reached a point in his career where he was performing at his absolute best. He believed that if this fight had taken place a year earlier, it would have been much harder to predict the winner. At that time, Du Bois might have had a better chance of pulling off an upset. However, Moore felt that Joshua was now entering the best form of his career, making it difficult for Du Bois to gain an advantage. According to Moore, Joshua's peak performance could prove to be too much for Du Bois to handle, and while Du Bois had talent, it might not be enough to overcome Joshua's experience and current form. Eddie Hearn, a key promoter in the boxing world, also weighed in on the fight. As someone closely involved with both fighters, Hearn's insights carried significant weight. He acknowledged that while Du Bois was a dangerous underdog, Joshua remained the more complete and polished fighter. Hearn recognized that people were looking for ways to talk up Du Bois' chances, but he cautioned against underestimating Joshua's abilities. 
Hearn pointed out that Joshua was not only more experienced but also more well-rounded in his skill set. While Du Bois had power and posed a real threat, he was still considered an underdog for a reason. Despite this, Hearn acknowledged that anything could happen in heavyweight boxing, where a single punch can change the outcome of a fight in an instant. Mark Tibbs, another respected figure in the boxing community, offered his support for Joshua while also acknowledging Du Bois' potential. Tibbs pointed out that Du Bois was still young and had plenty of room to grow. However, he believed that Joshua, at this point in his career, was at the pinnacle of his abilities. Tibbs saw Joshua as a fighter who had matured both mentally and physically, making him difficult to beat. He did not completely dismiss Du Bois' chances, but he emphasized that Joshua's experience and current form gave him the edge. In Tibbs' view, Du Bois had the potential to pull off an upset, but it would require a near-perfect performance. As the fight approached, both Joshua and Du Bois remained focused and determined. Joshua, in particular, took time to reflect on his journey in the sport and the mindset that had carried him to success. He spoke about how his early struggles, including being overlooked by others, had shaped him into the fighter he is today. Joshua emphasized that he never takes opportunities for granted because he knows what it's like to be on the other side, fighting for recognition. His words reflected the deep sense of purpose that drives him to continue pushing forward. Joshua made it clear that he values the position he's in now and doesn't take any fight lightly, as he understands the hard work it took to get there. Boxing expert Peter Fury also gave his take on the fight, focusing on Joshua's experience and maturity as key factors. Fury believed that Joshua's journey in the sport, including the ups and downs, had helped him grow into a fully mature and experienced fighter. Fury acknowledged that Du Bois had plenty of talent and had shown growth from past failures, but he believed Joshua's experience gave him the upper hand. Fury's analysis suggested that while Du Bois was still developing, Joshua had already reached a level of maturity and skill that would be difficult to overcome. Teddy Atlas, a well-respected trainer and boxing analyst, gave a balanced breakdown of Du Bois ahead of his match with Joshua. Atlas praised Du Bois for his physical strength, punching power, and mental toughness. He acknowledged that Du Bois had grown as a fighter, both mentally and physically, and had shown resilience in his recent performances. However, Atlas also pointed out a critical flaw in Du Bois' game his defense. Atlas warned that Du Bois would need to significantly improve his defensive skills, particularly in avoiding Joshua's powerful right hands, if he wanted to stand a chance in the fight. Without better defense, Atlas believed Du Bois would be at risk of getting knocked out by Joshua. Dave Coldwell, a respected boxing trainer and pundit, offered his own analysis of the matchup. Coldwell believed that Joshua had the upper hand, largely because Du Bois was too defensively open. However, Coldwell didn't completely rule out the possibility of an upset. He acknowledged that heavyweight boxing carries a lot of unpredictability, and one big punch from Du Bois could change the outcome of the fight. Coldwell emphasized that while Joshua had the edge in terms of skill and experience, Du Bois' aggressive style and knockout power still posed a significant threat. As the fight concluded, Joshua's experience and tactical abilities ultimately gave him the victory. However, Du Bois' performance showed that he is a fighter with great potential. He displayed resilience and determination, impressing many in the boxing world with his effort. While Joshua walked away with the win, the fight suggested that Du Bois has a bright future in the heavyweight division. Fans were reminded of the unpredictability and excitement that makes boxing such a thrilling sport. With both fighters leaving it all in the ring, the stage is set for more exciting matchups in their careers as fans eagerly await to see what lies ahead for both Joshua and Du Bois.